Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my vlog. I'm vlogging because in just a couple of minutes I'll be preaching at the youth service here at the Victory Pioneer. And, and maybe some of you don't know, I actually uh, started as a youth pastor and I still love young people. So youth pastor at the fort, um, youth pastor in uh, uh, Quezon City and also became the Every Nation Campus Ministries director for around four years. So even if I'm not directly involved with the young people, uh, I still love them, the passion, the fire, and just, uh, just a great opportunity to reach out to people at a very young age so that they won't make the same mistakes as older people do. And I, one of the things I love and miss about young people is just the ability to be very casual. And yeah, casual nila sa youth. And I love that. I love the, I love the you can just wear almost anything at the youth service. And I actually want to talk to you about uh, the young people where there's such a, the Bible says in First Timothy 4, 12, do not let them look down on you because you are young and, and set an example in speech and life and love and hope and impurity. And it, it's very clear Paul commanded um, the people to, uh, the young people to rise up and I like Paul's perspective that he really valued young people. He gave them an opportunity to shine. He told them that you don't need to really be old to set an example. Uh, we believe in young people. And I've also really been blessed and given the opportunity to lead our campus ministry. And I am part of a movement. I'm part of a church that sincerely believes in young people. A lot of, do, a lot of people say that in terms of lip service. Uh, they say they believe in young people, but are you willing to invest finances? Are you inv willing to invest time? Are you willing to give them an opportunity to grow? And I grew up in this church, and uh, this is where I learned uh, to become a Christian, learned to become a pastor, uh, even preaching. I, I remember uh, Pastor Rico and Pastor Freddy giving me an opportunity to preach when I was a um, uh, university student, and I really sucked. But they gave me a chance, and, and I want to make sure that I always am still in touch with young people, the next generation, and really investing my life to them, whether that's uh, my son Lorenzo at home, or the young people that I see around church, or just anyone. I think uh, our greatest legacy will be more than money, more than uh, influ uh, influencing other people, or fame. It's really just... Uh, investing us uh, older people I, I hate saying older people because I'm not that old but investing and, and pouring out your best David did that to Solomon Elijah to Elisha um, Paul to Timothy and I, I want to be like I want to be that kind of leader who will pour out and and see and invest in the next generation so that's about it see ya I'm about to preach at the youth service Pray for me.